So the first song on Star of Jupiter is Gamma Band. We're not going to go too much into intros and outros and soloing. We're going to focus mostly on the compositions because it would just be too much to unpack. But I will say that it's basically using the D Phrygian sound. Sometimes we'll go up and make it the fifth mode of G harmonic minor. That's one note away from Phrygian. So taking the F and making it an F sharp. <laughs> That kind of sound. Um, that pretty much covers the idea behind the solo wing and the melody. This song, the melody, is pretty much based on the chord movement, so we're really just going to talk about the chord movement. Starts out in D minor, it's a 5 4 rock groove. D sus sound. Now, remember that theme I told you about in the first video? And its variation? Well, this is the variation, except instead of starting here, we're starting from D. And that, those first two chords are both found within D minor. So is C sus, except we're using modal interchange, meaning borrowing a sound from another key that shares the same underlying chord. So that's a Phrygian sound, C sus flat 9. So C sus flat 9 and what is this here? This is like a Phrygian sound that's like the second. It would be like a Dorian sound, because if you're thinking about Phrygian, thinking about this as like a F sus, which is like a five, and this as the two, which is Dorian, it's borrowing from another mode. Instead of Dorian, it's Phrygian. So that pretty much explains the A section. Uh, again, if this is flying over your head, send me an email, jackwallmusic at gmail.com, and we can do a Skype lesson to go over this more in depth. But the simple version of this is you're moving around sus chords. That's the basic version. Now in the B section, we do a transition to E flat minor, just a key change, using the same shape. So minor thirds apart, sus chords. And those two sus chords are found in the key of E flat minor. Resolve to the, the one, the E flat minor 11. Now down here, we have F sus, going to A flat sus, same two things, and then we do E over F sharp. So E over F sharp, I think he got that from thinking about a B sus, but you know, it's kind of the same kind of sound, but really what it is, E over F sharp over E flat. So if you put that chord over E flat, it's like you're still playing this chord, but you're just using modal interchange to make it a Phrygian sound. So I think that's what's going on there. And the cool thing about this is this is a really common song, or a common chord found in pop songs. So like we talked about in the first video, this makes use of very pop-like sounds. You can hear this in like Bruno Mars and Michael Jackson songs all the time. So it's a really effective way of expressing the Phrygian sound. And that pretty much sums up Gamma Band 